Good evening one and all, Tyrant King here. I am playing Gundam Battle Operation 2 and this is my Zaku 1, the GS. I think it's the Greg something, don't quite remember at this exact moment, please forgive me. Um, I like this suit. I call it the old man's the old man's Zaku because it's it's pieced together. It has the Dom Tropen rocket launcher. It has the Guff's heat sword. The, um, I think it's the Guff's shield as well. I just like how this whole thing looks, the way that it's put together. All right, so this is a rating match. That's usually what I play, and we are on the. Um, base map or California if that's what you want to call it the launch facility moving toward Delta probably gonna capture <laughs> as I was playing this I just I was just telling this story in my head of uh, my gameplay how my pilot was a veteran and you know warfare had become a young man's game all these newer suits the Zaku 2's the Gundams the Gale Googs, all that and here I was in my um <laughs> in my mix and match Zaku one, and it was just like you know this 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 disgruntled veteran soldier was still on a mission behind enemy lines, and it was expected that you know he'd probably die. So as you can see, I'm moving on the enemy side of the map, moving toward their base right now. My logic is that um. We, we've only killed one of them based off the score we've only killed one of them so it's a very good chance he's probably gonna spawn right back into the map and I'm just gonna be watching things and try to light up their base so inside planting the bomb so far so good the infiltration was successful two of them have died now but it doesn't look like you know they looked at their map just to see that their base was um their base had been in infiltrated so the base is armed I'm back in my Zaku 1 GS and I usually guard the um, base guard the bomb until about the 10 second mark I always prefer to have my um, heat my um, melee weapon out that way I can cut down the pilot um, if they spawn in they don't usually don't have enough invincibility to make it um, all the way inside to the back and I can usually cut them down it's been a while since I've done that though so perhaps that has changed But yeah, I've also at times had issues with firing rockets um, inside the inside the back of the ships, which is kind of weird. But I guess you know that's a mechanic for the pilot. So it hits the 10 second mark. They don't have enough time to disable, even if somebody else spawned there. So I'm on the move again. I'm ready to get back in the fight. And I've done my, my I've done my team a service just by knocking out our base and getting us those extra points, increasing our lead. So let's make a pit stop here, capture this area so we can limit one of their spawns, gain some more points. Our enemy spawns in, so I'm hurry up, take off, get back in my suit. And I'm trying to find him so I can step on him. Hits me with the flashbang. Of course that wasn't going to hit. He's hovering in the air just long enough, and if there's nothing for me to get splash damage off. Except for right there. He calls in his suit, and then he dies. Oh, wait, that wasn't his suit. He had help. What was that? That is the armored... Yep, yeah, the armored gym. Look at that fancy new suit. The gym with its maneuver armor, its hover legs. And here I am in this old Zaku 1 trying to fight. But we're going blow for blow right now. We've both, you know, going mainly going for the legs, and I got the other's mobility. He gets the stun, but I managed to dodge. He gets the tackle, and then comes back in, knocks me down with the melee. I find it interesting that the armored gym is basically the the Federation version, the gym version of the Dom. <laughs> so I'm trying to crouch, and he tackles. I didn't have enough time to reload. I don't know why I didn't switch over to my um. To my stern faust probably wasn't thinking about it at the time but that would have been the smart move to go over to my stern faust those load really fast at that moment i told myself i was going to have my revenge i'd get him before this match is over 
So it became my sole focus not to just win, but take out that armor gem. Alright, there's the Gundam ground type re weapons rack. I'd gotten a good shot on him. Rocket, Sternfaust, go in, get the melee, switch over to the bazooka, stun him again. This isn't a good matchup simply because he has type advantage on me. He's going to be able to do more damage to me. But, you know, using my mobility and everything, I was able to take him out. Zaku 1 GS beats Gundam. Yes. Excellent. I was very pleased with that one. Especially given that that person had type advantage me as a yellow support type. I was shooting while trying to rush in repairing. Keep this old Zaku in the fight. We're not done yet, damn it. We've still got some more war in us. <laughs> I really do enjoy this well um, mobile suit. I didn't think much of what I got it. I was like, it has low HP. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But once I got used to the play style for this suit, I've really, I really started to enjoy it. And I feel like this match highlights that as well. Got a shot right there. I didn't get a chance to see what that was. Obviously, it's something that I don't want to go head to head with, so I'm playing peekaboo. Get myself a little bit of a stealth by popping the smoke, and that looks like my armored gym friend. Yes, it is. He managed to drop down. My shot didn't hit. Everything's reloading, replenishing smoke, replenishing Sternfaust, probably. Smoke's back, so I get a little bit of stealth. So if they're looking on the map trying to track me, once I pop that smoke, I'll disappear for a while, plus get an um, increase to defense. So this actually allowed me to kind of get the jump on somebody. There's that armor gym again. I have not forgotten about him. Missed that shot. Switch over to the smoke. Takes forever. Smoke is finally back. So the armor gym can't see me on the map. He would need direct contact. He, wow, that was a long tackle. He managed to shoot me still after that very long tackle. Me and my partner are basically tripping over each other trying to kill him, but we get some hits in. I, I thrust past not to get in his way and to also help here. Basically stole that kill, but you know, you can't be slacking. So the armor's gems pushing on my teammate. We're down to about 30 seconds. I stunned him, but his maneuver armor carried through, so he didn't really get stunned. He just took damage. I'm replenishing his stern files. He used his tackle, and I got the armor gem. Vengeance has been mine! This old man ain't done yet, goddammit. <laughs> so the old man, Zaku, keeps pushing through. Down to 20 seconds. We've got 5 seconds on our base, but I'm not going to be able to make it there. I'm just firing a shot. There's the gym guard with that gigantic shield. Expect a video with that pretty soon. Managed to hit him with the stern faust, and then the match ends right there. I rolled through his melee as to not get demolished. But then he still keeps going in. Oh, wait. Yeah, still died before the match ended, huh? Basically on the buzzer, it looks like. I guess that clock was taking a little bit longer than I thought. But the match has ended. My team has won. There I am up front in my Zaku GS. And didn't make the board, but I did beat my rival. And just for the record, if you don't know, I always give praise to raid mobile suits because those are sometimes hard to use. So I respect the people putting in the effort. All right, everybody. Have a good one.